welcome back to another video i am here again with another haul video but this time it's from clear jelly stamper so i didn't get lots but the things i did get were quite exciting so i just fancied sharing it with you and then the end of this video is just going to be a really really quick organized with me kind of video i'm basically just going to put everything in these so i got two boxes of these replacement tips most people already know that I use these ones because I have lots and lots of people ask me um, over on Instagram. I get a lot of messages about these. But yeah, so these are the ones that slot into the stands uh, like this, where those little dot stands. So yeah, they slot into those. It just makes nail art a hell of a lot quicker and easier because you don't have to keep trying to make sure they're stuck down. So I've got two boxes of those because I go through a lot. So I have already got a full box still left, but I know that they'll be gone pretty soon. And then I'll do those last. And then I've got some polishes. I don't want this to be a really, really long video because I know that I've pretty much only done hauls lately. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's fine. I will be doing a video using these products because Wednesday's live is a stamping live on my Instagram at 8 30 p.m so i will be doing a video for that um for youtube so people that can't watch it don't have to watch like a, an hour long live they can just watch a quicker video on youtube so these are the ones i got their numbers are here so we've got 13 17 number 2 71 72 and number one so I'm really, really happy with those. They are lovely colours. And then you'll see the ones that I've already got at the end because I'll be popping those in the storage that I use for them. And then I got these really amazing. Look at this. This is teal holographic. Just look at the reflection of that. It is incredible. So these hold the small plates like these ones. They're perfect size. And they're double sided so even though it says on the website that they only hold 20 they don't because they're double sided so that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty two I feel like I counted wrong. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two. 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Yeah, that's a really random number, but it says on the website that they hold 20, I think, and obviously they don't because they're double sided, but they hold 32. This bigger one holds 20, but these ones hold 32. So I'm really, really happy with this, actually. And I got this. I didn't actually technically buy that. I bought these. So on the Clear Jolly Stamper website, you can click... There's a bundles option. So you basically just click bundles in the drop-down menu when you go on to the left-hand side. Um, you click bundles, and then you can pick whichever bundle you want. So there's like... That's how I bought those stamping polishes as well. It was a bundle of six. I think they do a bundle of 13 as well, polishes. Um, and then you can also do bundles of the plates as well. So they've got different options for the small, medium and large plates. I chose the small ones because I don't have as many small plates as I do large. So I thought it'd be nice to grab some. So I'm just going to go through them really, really quickly. So I got CJS112. And then this is CJS 66. This one is uh, CJS LC 21 in collaboration with Upper Daisy, Upper Daisy, Upper Daisy Nails. I'm really sorry to whoever that is if I've said that wrong. And then we've got CJS 08. And then we've got CJS. 20, uh, 74 I really like this one it's different and then we've got CJS 65 CJS 61 and this one's really really cute 
and then I've got a daisy plate because daisies are in right now and even though they look like the easiest thing ever to draw to paint like I just I can't freehand a daisy is it just me are they actually difficult because I feel like I'm going insane because I just cannot do them so this plate was needed so this is CJS 113 so they're the ones that I got within this order um obviously you can choose whichever eight you like so the postage for clear jelly stamp for themselves is obviously more because they are america based um so it is a little bit more but they are actually cheaper like the products are a little bit cheaper because obviously you don't pay the import prices and stuff like that from like you do from nail dot supplies so even though the postage is more the product cost is less so I'd say just make sure you order enough to make up for like the postage price basically and you could actually still end up saving yourself money. But anyway, I did buy two of these but one of them came with a faulty clasp but Clear Jelly Stamper have been amazing and they've emailed me back already within a matter of hours to let me know that they will be sending out another one to me and that they are very sorry for the error. So I can't say anything bad about them for that because that is all I expect. Well, not expected, but all I'm happy with. So that's fine. So they're really helpful as well because some of them, when they come, obviously they come in these little packets and they show you. So let me just grab the plate that this would go with. Because obviously they're layered plates, It's sometimes it's difficult to imagine what the what the image would look like with all of the different layers on it so they send these cards in the back of them you can also see this page like on the on the actual website as well so you know what they're going to look like but they send these cards so you can see what the images look like when they're layered which i think is really helpful um so yeah and they also give you the size of the image as well so if you're someone who does nails like this long then you'll know that that image is going to be a little bit too small. Obviously, you can double up, but yeah. So I just, I don't know. I just find them really, really helpful. I think they're a really good company. So anyway, I'm going to get straight into, I need to open these as well, but I'm going to get straight into sorting all my stamping plates now. So I'm going to be sort, sorting the new ones that I've bought from them and the new ones that I bought from Born Pretty. That haul is already uploaded before this one. So if you haven't saw that, go and check that out. I've got a couple of Clear Jelly Stampers large plates, so I'll be putting those into this one as well, but majority of them at the moment will be Moira. Um, so I'm going to do that on a time lapse because it's going to be very boring for you and this video is long enough. Okay, so I've just finished putting everything where I want it and how I want it. So to store my Clear Jelly Stamper polishes, I keep them in this cute lipstick holder because it's the perfect size for these cute little polishes. So I keep those in there and then I've got like all the purples here, reds, yellows, silver and white, blue, green, you know, just in that order. Um, I like to have them in order so when it comes to layered stamping I know which ones are going to layer well so like these two pinks I'm really looking forward to using those two um, and then I've got a variety of purples as well now I think I'm going to try out Born Pretty stamping polish as well because it's literally like £2.50 per polish so I think I might buy a couple see how they are for pigment anyway so so I've put all my little ones obviously in here, all these square type ones are the Clear Jelly Stamper and then all of the rounded ones are Born Pretty. So I've got all of those in there, they're nice and neat now. And then in the big one, obviously I can't put all of my plates in at the moment, I've still got quite a few left of my Moira ones and I've got a huge pile of medium size plates um, like this shape and size i've got quite a large pile of those now since having the born pretty ones delivered so i have got some of those that i want to keep in the larger one but obviously the other one was faulty so until the new one comes i can't fill it yet but i oh my god i've missed one 
Ooh, there's another gap. Don't know how I managed that. Let's go through the whole thing now, just in case I've done it again. <laughs> but anyway, my point was, um, yeah, this just, it looks so nice. I just, I loved the other way that I did it. This is literally, if you don't want to fork out a load of money, this is literally just a photo album. I've just put a label on the front and it cost me about £1.50 from eBay. Like, you really don't have to spend a fortune on storage for stamping. But I really, really like this, actually. Now I'm, like, doing stamping a hell of a lot. I mean, I have been for a while. I've just been stingy for a while as well. But now I'm doing stamping a lot. I think it's nice to have some really nice storage for it so that's that i think they look really really nice actually love those so as soon as the other one comes obviously i'll be able to add all my other plates to that and then they'll all be in these lovely holographic books so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'm aware that my channel is getting a bit repetitive now with all the hauls but to be honest i've just i've taken a little step back from nails at the moment um just for my own well-being really like no big there's no biggie or anything or any gossip to give nothing's happened just had a few down days and that's absolutely fine so yeah um i am still quite active on instagram at the moment so i haven't disappeared completely but yeah i will be back very shortly and yeah i hope everyone's okay so thank you so much for watching again and i'll be back soon bye